Knight has just returned from the Women's Pro World Championships, placing fifth in her first professional competition. Watch her now as she prepared for the championships last March. Hi, I'm Tanya Knight. My competition is only two short months away, so I've begun to make the final adjustments to compete professionally for the first time. During the next few minutes, I'll share with you what some of these adjustments are and how they will make or break me contest day. In addition, I'll also show you my latest arm routine. So let's head downstairs and get started. The major change that I've made in my contest preparation this month is to dramatically increase my aerobic activity. My goal is to burn fat through consistent aerobic exercise rather than by starving myself. The key is finding the right balance so I won't sacrifice any hard-earned muscle. A 60-minute session, or even better, two 30-minute daily sessions on the life cycle will do the trick. Now let's move on to my complete arm routine. I'll start with triceps because I feel they are lagging behind my biceps. By working the weaker body part first, I'm able to train with fresh intensity and concentration. I pretty much stick with the basics, starting with lying extensions. I lie flat on a bench using an easy curl bar. I bring the bar down just slightly past my forehead, then I finish the movement by bringing the bar back up to a slightly angled position towards my forehead in order to keep constant tension on the triceps. Since I consider this a power movement for the triceps, I only do 8 to 10 repetitions. Then I move on to push downs. I do four sets of 10 to 15 repetitions. You'll find that it is very easy to cheat on this exercise and use every muscle but your triceps. So it is very important to stand erect, keep your elbows close to your sides, and contract at the bottom of the movement. Now that I'm training for more detail, I've added a finishing movement called kickbacks. I use a relatively light dumbbell because form is much more important than weight here. I bend my body at the waist, keeping my upper arm stationary. I bring my forearm forward, then bring it back, straightening my arm and contracting at the top. For biceps, again, nothing fancy, just the basics with a few added finishing movements. I start with standing barbell curls, which I believe is the best mass builder for the biceps. I do four sets of 8 to 15 repetitions. I go as heavy as possible on this exercise, but I never lose my strict form. Next, I begin a variety of exercises designed to work the muscle from every angle. First, the preacher curl. I love this exercise. It is a total isolation exercise. You couldn't cheat if you wanted to. I get a tremendous pump off of it. I do four sets of 10 to 15 repetitions with a full stretch at the bottom and a contraction at the top. Next is seated dumbbell curls. I alternate arms on this exercise so I can concentrate on one arm at a time. I stretch completely at the bottom and supinate my wrist at the top. I do four sets of 10 repetitions for each arm. And this month, I've added my own variation of the concentration curl. I lie facing towards an incline bench with my arm that I am working hanging straight. Then I curl it upwards, actually watching it peek into a little ball. I do one arm at a time, three sets of 15 repetitions. That's all for now. Join me next month as we'll take a final last look at my contest preparation. And I'll show you some tricks of the trade that will have a major impact on my physique contest day. For American Muscle Magazine, I'm Tanya Knight. Don't go away.